Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Ayyuh al-habba. The heart, as we've discussed on countless occasions, is in need of purification. And when we begin to look at ourselves and the sins that we knowingly do, then we begin to realize the importance of purifying our souls and concerning ourselves with our own deeds and the actions that we have done and infractions we've committed with our own hands. And as we've mentioned on countless occasions, a hadith of Nu'man ibn Bashir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, I believe it is, and collected in Sahih Muslim where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said at the end of the hadith, inna fi jizid mudghatin idha salaha salaha jizid kullu wida fasada fasada jizid kullu ala wa hiya qalb where the Prophet Sallallahu Rabbi Wasallamu Alayhi said that verily in the body is a morsel of flesh. If it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. If it is sick, the whole body is sick and verily it's the heart. Ayu al habba all of us struggle with various sins and various trials and tribulations all of us are tested some of us are tested with substance abuse some of us are tested with going beyond the bounds and exercising their shahwat their desires outside of the bond of marriage which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated that we can enjoy one another sexually because that's what we're inclined towards but that we must do it in the bounds of the Sharia we must do it in the marriage bond and marriage in Islam means between a man and a woman a suitable man and a suitable woman and there are various conditions for that but this is not the place to discuss those conditions in detail However, some of us are tested with going outside of that bond, either by fornicating, either by being in the bond and committing adultery, either by uh, various other ways. Possibly some of us, some of our brothers and sisters are tested even with homosexuality. And some of our brothers and sisters are tested even with masturbation and pornography because they go hand in hand so to speak, no pun intended. And ayu al habba that requires for us, for whatever we're tested with, whether it be substance abuse, whether, whether it be pornography, to realize, number one, that all of our brothers and sisters and all of humanity, in one form or another, goes through struggle and trial, trials and tests. So you're not alone, but your individual test, you have to put it on a scale. And I heard this just recently, and I thought it was incredibly beneficial, and I wanted to share it, even though it's it's uh, widespread, the information. But I found it touching for myself personally, that it touched my heart, and it and it gave me some direction. And I thought that it would be beneficial for my brothers and sisters in Islam. In that, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you truly love me, if you truly love Allah, then follow me, meaning follow the messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. That ayu al habba, the love for Allah should be 
matched, or not matched, but it should be put in front of those sins that you struggle with. Meaning that you tell yourself, before you're going to commit one of those sins, that I love Allah more. Allahu Akbar. That I love Allah more than this sin I was going, more than the bottle of wine that I'm inclined to. I enjoy wine. I like to drink it. I like uh, alcohol. And, 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 and I maybe I have some problem even with substance abuse. But strive your utmost to tell yourself that I love Allah more. Because you do. Bi'idnillah ta'ala. And from that moment, leave that action. That is struggle. But that's really the scale for the believer to see how their iman is, how their faith is. Is their love for the akhirah more than the love of this life, that temporary satisfaction? Because it's temporary. All of us will agree that it's temporary. If you have, uh, if you commit adultery, for example, or fornicate, it's temporary. However long that time period lasts, and for many people, it's just a minute, a few seconds, perhaps, they put all this energy into sinfulness, and they only had a second of pleasure. 30 seconds of pleasure, one minute of pleasure, 10 minutes of pleasure, perhaps longer, perhaps shorter. But what is that compared to the sin that you've committed? And the sorrow that you feel? And the decrease in your Iman? And the abandonment of your Lord because that's the path that you're on. That doesn't mean Allah has left you. But as the Prophet ﷺ said that the person who commits when the fornicator is fornicating that their iman is, no, is not with them. And the scholars of hadith have interpreted that in various ways. But it lets us know, at least, that it's dead serious. Because it involves our, our hearts and our iman. And it involves your relationship with your Lord. And you do not want to meet your Lord in that state. In, while committing an act of fornication, or right after an act of fornication, or walking towards fornication, or holding the bottle up to your lips, or whatever type of sin that you're tested with and that you involve yourself with. And related to the issue of homosexuality, as this sin tends to be, especially really around the world, there are many movements glorifying homosexuality. Even some Muslims dare not only openly say that they are homosexual, but believe that it's permissible. So they contradict with, contradict with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam with the Salaf, this whole Ummah has been united upon in, in the traditional sense of Islam all the way up until modern times. But they still believe that what they're doing is possibly acceptable and okay. Ayola Habba know that that is a deception from the shaitan. And that the person tested with that has a couple of choices. First, they should realize that it is a major sin and that they're still Muslim. And if a whole, someone who is tested who is a homosexual or a lesbian or what have you, they want to be Muslim, come to Islam. No one can reject you. That's your right to worship Allah and to have your relationship with Allah. But we will remind you that it is sinful and that you have to struggle within yourself to try to leave that sin and not actualize that sin either by being celibate or fighting it if you have desires for the uh, uh, for your uh, for the opposite sex then in the marriage bond and strive and work with your partner to uh, exercise and, and, and remove that sin from the heart. Ayola, but it's not easy. And let's begin together 
to strive our best, to clean our hearts, and not be of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَذَرَ الْحَيَاةَ dunya," That they prefer the life of this world. But let's be of those who put their desire in its proper place, control it, you can exercise it in a righteous way, in a lawful way. But don't let it run you. Don't become a worshiper of your desires. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.